PCH-2000 is an ultimate weapon because it combines a certain lethality, a high rate of fire, with the speed to maneuver quickly and get into different positions. Powered by a 950 horsepower diesel engine, the 55-ton cannon is carried in and out of battle at speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. The automated loading mechanism means a small, well-trained crew can load the full complement of 60 shells in just 10 minutes. Instead of, say, a traditionally sized gun crew, which if you were doing sustained fire, you'd be looking at eight to 10 men, you can get away with as few as three. A single button push transports the round from magazine to loading bay and into the barrel. The gunner manually places the charge into the breech before closing it. So man and machine have to be in perfect sync to achieve the world-beating rates of fire. Whereas a lot of uh, self-propelled artillery systems would be promising perhaps on uh, rapid fire rate four or five rounds a minute, you are getting up to six to eight on very fast fire rates. In a volley of up to five rounds, the barrel is lowered after each shot, sequentially decreasing the shell's flight time. It's a way that you can vary the trajectory of four different 155 artillery shells so that four rounds land on the same target at the same time. PZH-2000 has certainly taken traditional 155 millimeter artillery systems to the epitome of where they can go with current technology. You have got a highly engineered machine, you have got a very integrated system which is delivering both firepower and accuracy in one platform. Precision German engineering like this doesn't come cheap, but the ability to land five shells simultaneously and be gone before the first one hits makes the PZH-2000 a solid investment. Oh,